Hi, VR designer Chris here, and in this video I'll be talking about the early development of the Agatha King, which is a Truman class dreadnought, which also includes the Thomas Prince. Let's get started. The Truman class is the flagship of the UNN. It's not as sophisticated or advanced as an MCRN Doniger class, but the Truman class is famed for its sturdiness and reliability. It is also one of the longest serving vessels in the UNN fleet. So with that in mind, here are the first set of concept sketches made by Northfront. We have five different concepts with the scale chart up above. The scale chart shows that the Agatha King is larger than both the Nathan Hale and the Sirocco, but it's smaller than the Doniger. Side note, I made a video on all three of those ships, so check out this playlist if you haven't seen those videos already. Out of these five sketches, I find design E to be really interesting. This design almost looks bug-like and somewhat organic. I really like it, but maybe not as a UNN ship within the Expanse universe. Do any of these sketches stand out to you? What about design C? The production clearly liked design C because after these initial sketches were made, this turnaround was generated. Here we have two side views plus a top and bottom view of the ship. Also there are some labels pointing at these missile tubes, which are at the nose of the ship. There are also multiple PDCs, I count 14 on this side alone. There's also a label for the docking bay, two railguns, and multiple PDCs near the drive cones. If you look carefully at the top view, there are also 8 more PDCs. At this point, the design has entered the 3D realm, so why don't we take a look at the 3D model. One thing I found interesting after inspecting the model is that I found a railgun hidden inside a railgun. I'm not exactly sure why this is here, the smaller railgun could have been pulled from another ship and it just stayed hidden. Another idea is that it's the standard size of a different ship and had to be rescaled, I'm not exactly sure, but here it is. This concept 3D model will later get sent to a VFX vendor who will rebuild the model with more details. But the VFX team needs some final pieces of concept art before this can happen. Which is why we get this exterior back view of the ship. I like how the background is blurred to imply that the ship is in motion. There are also post-processing effects around the drive cone, such as bloom and a bit of lens flare. It is small details like this that can really make a piece of concept art pop. After that, we get this piece of concept art. We can clearly see where bay number one is. The UN logo is right here, and it's hard to tell, but it says UNN Agatha King over there. The next piece of concept art I want to show you is of the Thomas Prince. Can you spot the difference between the two ships? We have a slightly different paint finish between the ships. The biggest difference is actually in the nose area. We can see that the Thomas Prince has more antennas and other systems. There is also a different treatment to the panels over here. The torpedo tubes have a different paint treatment and the UN logo moved from here to here. Also on the Thomas Prince we can see the number 278 instead of the UN logo. I also want to show you this piece of concept art, which is of the Agatha King, but it's damaged and covered in some blue shit, also known as the protomolecule. Maybe the Agatha King was always meant to be more organic. The Truman class did not have a lengthy design process like some other ships on the show. I'm looking at you Doniger and Rossi. Much like the Nathan Hale, the production knew exactly what they wanted and they were able to go from sketch to final design in a relatively smooth manner. I will always wonder what the Agatha King would have looked like if the production decided to go with design A or E. Maybe one day I can make a future video where we 3D model some of these alternative designs. Let me know if that is something you would be interested in. If you enjoyed this video and want to support me and the channel, please consider checking out my game on Steam called The Indigo Parallel. 
I've been working on it for five years now, and it's out on the 24th of November. Wishlisting the game helps, but also just clicking the link, it drives traffic to the page and it helps me out as well. It's going to be available for both Mac and PC, and thanks for watching. Thank you.